Hi guys, Alan Moore here. Welcome back to another fragrance review. Well today guys, I'm going to give you a video about five fragrances that I tend to choose mainly at my collection. It's one of them things, you know, you start collecting fragrances, you have a tendency to tend to things that you do like and you do wear more. So than some of your other fragrances. And this is what this video is about today. These are more a hey, five of them. I will class as what favourite fragrances because I do wear them quite a lot. It gives me a lot of pleasure to wear these fragrances. So if you're interested in this, see me after the intro, guys. Got some cracking fragrances here. See ya. Thanks for coming back. I appreciate that. So I got some. Cracking fragrances for you there guys, and I think there's been on countless YouTube videos and I'm just keen to share my thoughts on my fragrances that I've collected and you'll see probably, like I just said a few seconds, you'll see these on loads of videos that have been put out, because they're popular fragrances guys and if you haven't bought these yet, you know, they might be good additions to your collection if you have already got them, you understand what I'm on about, they have, they've got the quality and they've you know, put a smile on your face when you put these fragrances on. And to me, that's what fragrance it should be about. They should be to give you something back when you put them on. To feel you've got something special on. Okay, so before we start the main uh, fragrance to share on the actual video, I was going to share my scent of the day, which is my favorite, one of my favourites as well. The Ursa Vars EDT. Right, just going to put some on while I'm here for the sake of the camera. Put some there, put a t shirt on, it's not too bad. The temperature in the house today, so I can get away with it. Went out early, and the weather's changing. I mean, it's sunny, and it's cloudy, and it looks like it's gonna rain. So, you put a coat on, you start sweating because you had a coat on. So, I'll just show that again just before I put it down. Do the uh, Dior Sauvage EDT, fantastic, Grace. I mean, I had a 200ml bottle that's lasted me for ages. That was one of the first bottles I had bought me when I first started collecting. I've never looked back ever since I smelt it. It's fantastic, in my opinion. Okay, let's go with the rest of this video. Uh, on the first fragrance, it might be an unusual fragrance for some people. Some people on Frag come have trashed it because it tastes too generic and things like that. But the only thing I can say to you is. They've got this fragrance shine now, it's going to appear on my next video. I'm going to be doing it the weekend as well because it's that popular. From my point of view, it's very versatile. And in this fragrance, I do like wearing it a lot of excuse, but work if I get out of the gym, anything like this. Or it could be just like going out somewhere nice, you could use it either way. Um, and the next, the next video I do is actually about a gym fragrances, there's three of them. I'm going to show you this one, I'm going to show you now, it will be on there, and it's this one here. Guilty, guilty, go on. Look at that for the bottle, guys. If it's great in your hand, look. Nice flask type of bottle. You know, they make flask here as well with a bit of whiskey in. And it looks like kind of shape. And to me, when I first, I always wanted to buy this a long time ago when it first came out, and I never had the money for it, to be honest. And at the time, I wasn't into collecting fragrances. But I kept seeing this on the shop window when I was passing by. And I thought, that looks a good bottle. I was like, well, I'm going to try it now. I never got around to pulling the trigger on it. And as I said, I didn't collect fragrances like I do now. And I got my nails on it just at the start of last year, I think it was. And to be honest, it's won me over. Big time. It's got a lovely lavender now, can you guys? This is what makes it so special. I bet that being a good for a gym fray. It's not overpowering, it's not unpleasant, it's not like uh, too offensive. But if you're going out for a nice meal, right, and you've got like your wife or your partner or your girlfriend, you know, whoever it is going out with you for the meal, you're not going to chalk them out with this fragrance. It'll make it smell elegant, it'll smell, you've got the smell classy, but it won't overpower it to spoil the, the event that you're going out on. So this is why it's so good and why I wear it a lot. I've worn it for work. I've, you know, when I used to go down to the gym before Carwick came along, I'd wear it down, you know, so. And these, you know, them really good for the, the value of money. They've been around now for years and I'm still putting flankers out of this particular line. 
So they just trust the shower. They must be selling bottles, otherwise I'm gonna keep doing it. So that's my first choice, guys. Gucci Guilty Pour on. Please don't, you know, underestimate that fragrance because like some of the people on frag kind of slays is saying it's too genetic. If that's genetic guys, give him all of it because it smells fantastic. So on my second pick with this one here. Hacker de Geo by Giorgio Marley, it's the Profuma, black bottle, silver collar look, magnetic cap, oh, there we go, silver plate on the bottom look, and then you, <laughs> it sells itself guys, this does, get your nose on it, because you'll want to buy it, because it's a, it, this, it, the, the reason I've got this on my list today, and which is one of my favourite fragrances, if I have an haircut, if I go out anywhere nice, if it's in the summer, if it's in winter, autumn, spring, this works all year round. You know, there are many fragrances you can say that about, that they actually wear that long through the rest of the year. You know, and it's one of these fragrances, you know, that's special. It gives you like a masculine feel to me. And it also reminds me of if you can have your hair cut and offer you a choice of a fragrance before you come out. I'll give you a shave and the, the aftershave lotion on. But I reckon this is something that smells very similar to the old school vibe fragrances they used to use. It's not necessarily a barbershop fragrance, just just the, the smell it gives off is so masculine. And at the same time, it, it all reminds me of coming out of a barber's and having my hair cut, you know, a nice boy, this, uh, the barber, and, you know, getting it like. Nice and trim, you know, and smelling like that when you come out, it'd be amazing. Um, by the way, I like to just to uh, sometimes I like to just think off the cuff. Sometimes I say things at the start of the video, sometimes I think it, oh, I'll do it now. And in this case, you know, people who don't know, my name's Alan Moore, right? This is always done with one microphone, that's just how it is, it's always done in one take, guys. With the help of trying to get you guys the rawest video out there. There's very little editing in this video that I put out. I know, I know it's probably not the most the easiest way to go to pick up, you know, subscriptions or other for watching my channel. But I have to be true to myself and I enjoy doing my videos this way. When I look back and I watch the videos, I will see how they've turned out. Nine times out of ten, I'm quite pleased what I'm watching. So I'm not going to really change the way I do things just my way of trying to put myself across. I hope I can convince you to stick with me because my intentions are good to give you, you know, top hand information based on my experience wearing these fragrances. So whether you want to buy it or you don't want to waste your money, at least you got some, you know, good information either way or the other. Okay, let's get on with the, let me just uh, give you the notes of that Gucci Guilty guys. This one here, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. So I say I do make mistakes and there's new state. And it's this one here, the Gucci Guilty. You've got in the top, you've got Lavender Amalfi Lemon. And in the mid, you've got uh, African Orange Flower. In the base, you've got Virginia Cedar Patchouli Vanilla. It's classed as a woody aromatic. It was released in 2011. And for this one here, the uh, Giorgio Marley one here. Right, let me just point this for you. You've got, these are, they got many notes in these, in this one here. In the top, you've got sea notes and bergamot, that's it. In the mid, you've got rosemary, sage and geranium. In the middle, in the base, sorry, you've got incense and patchouli. So you can tell uh, there are a lot of notes there. This was released in 2015 and it's classed as an aromatic aquatic. Um, there you go. You've got some more information there. And that one was classed as a woody aromatic. So, you know, I, I, I suppose it does dry down. You can actually smell the woods coming through. Uh, so let's go with the next one then. Uh, and it's this one here. And again, this has been on countless videos. You can see Bulgari Man in Black. And as you can see, guys, if you look at this bottle now, there's no atomizer there. Look. So you think, how do you spray it? Turn it, you either click, right, and then... You will to spray your fragrance. And this, it's got, 
this is amazing. Stick a suit on if you go out with this. Going out somewhere nice with your mates, somewhere, you know, you have to dress up. Black tie event. Stick that on. And it's a rocket with this. Because it's so good. And it's got spices in it, it's got rubbing in it, it's got leather in it. You know, and I have been looking at the house, I've bought it that many times. You know, this is really a top fragrance, got tobacco in it. Look at the, look at how, how classy that bottle looks. You know, they've got the piping around here. Look at the old that's nice to match the writing on the front. It looks how classy the bottle was in your collection. But this, the fragrance inside is amazing. You can't in this light, you can't see through the bottle. So I don't think it's actually see through. But um it's got all the information on the bottom there as well, guys. And this is again I said it's fantastic. You won't go wrong if you've got this and you know going out for a night out. And I'll just give you the rest of the note of this. This is classed as um amber amber floral, this one's called like classed as. And it's got me the top, spicy, rum and tobacco. And then you've got leather, iris, iris is in there. That's quite popular now. Tuberose. And in the base, you've got tonka beans, kayak wood, benzoin, and amber. Sorry. Yeah, amber. That's it. And to be honest, it, it, it is. I've got them three fragrances I've showed you so far, and the honourable mentions, not the scent of the day. That's really good. So you've got four cracking fragrances there. Just show I've showed you so far. And I've got some there that were coming in just as good as the ones I've just showed you. There's none, there's none on here. They're not worthy of the hype and the price that you have to pay for them because they are good and you will have to fork a little bit of money out, but it's worth it. This is one, this is last but one. Louis de Chanel BDT. Yeah. Spray there. Oh, just so fresh. Look that grapefruit now that comes out in this straight away. And I've not looked at the now, I'll out some underneath this here, guys. I've got a pad in front of me here. And I can't see down, but I've had to say, so keep writing everything, everything. I've got some notes what I did on the last video. I've got loose pages. And so I've got some of these notes all written down. So I thought, what was doing it all again? I just made it all, just use what I've got. And then write down the stuff I haven't got. And that's what I'm able to do now. I suppose I'm our channel very low tech, but it's, I enjoy doing it this way. That's why I enjoy putting myself across. You know, I'm normal, you know, like the rest of us, I think. Anyway, let's give the notes for this. Blue de Chanel, it was released in 2010. It was started all the blue fragrances off, guys. This did. This was the OG that started it all off. And you can see I've got a bit left now. This was Oip to Death by Jeremy Fragrance, saying it was the most projecting one. I've not really had that experience, to be honest with you guys, if I was to be really honest. But I do love the fragrance. It smells so classic. You know, let me just spray it in there. I can smell it better. Yeah, you got it's, it's got like, um, you can smell the, the grapefruit that comes out when you first spray it. That's very fresh, but it's like a realistic grapefruit note. Right, but it's got lemon and mint in there. It's got, it's got like a pe uh, pe pink pepper. I've got my notes here. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to identify as I'm reading it. Although I can pick that pepper out there, and I can pick a pepper out there. there. Uh, ginger, I can't read really, that in the mid. I can't really make that out. Nutmeg, no. Jasmine, yes. It's got icy out a super. That's the stuff that gives it its like oomph. Which, you know, a um, bit more longevity and a bit more projection when you're smelling it. So, that was in the in the mid, in the base. You've got incense, vetiver, cedar, sandalwood, patchouli, labdanum and white moss. And you can smell some of the woods in there as it starts growing down. Not quite just yet, but I've had this on quite a while, as you see. And it first starts out, it starts out really fresh. That opening blast of the, the grapefruit now. But as it starts coming through to the meat, you will start picking the pepper up, but you will start picking like little bits of the oysoy super. You know, you can detect that in there as well. Now, it's like a strange note that is to me. I, could, you know, I had trouble picking it out because it's also in that one. 
the same thing. And Brock's, you know, ice very sulfur, it's more or less a similar thing. Do you know what I mean? So they smell very similar. It's new for the same purpose, just to boost the fragrance. And then for them two fragments we used to be competitors, well, they still are, uh, you know, against each other. Some people are more survive, some people are more, you know, you know. And I think if I had to make a choice, I'd choose the survive every day of the week, if I was to be honest. But that's my personal choice. I know there's people say, oh, it's better layered than it's better than from the house, you know, but you have to give it your heart tells you, you know, and it, 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 I'm not denying it, it is a good fragrance. You know, but I'll be lying if I say to you, it's better than the Savage, in my opinion. Right then, on to the last one. Now, this one. Oh. If you're going out on a date, guys, never mind finishing it. Third base, here we go, and all the way to first base with this. This is Valentino Romo. Intense. It's got a lovely eyes now to you, guys. Oh. Yes, definitely. If you're going out intended to meet, you know, a young lady on the night out and you walk up with somebody, there's a good chance wearing this. Providing you've got the personality and everything to go with you, you look good being, because it is that good. I can smell it in my room now, it's like, got that Irish note, it's magical in there, guys. It is really the saltiest fragrance the Irish note does. And it's classed as a leather fragrance as well. You just give the notes on this. It's got mandarin orange, which you can't smell. But like, all, all can smell like this is like, but they may don't know. If you've got the notes of orange, sometimes you get off like a makeup smell, like a, I imagine your, your, your mum or your, your wife or your, your girlfriend that you live with has bought you and they open the makeup bag, putting a bit of makeup on, and you get the waft and the pencils and the powders and different stuff that you use. And, it's like that a bit at first, and then like a lipstick if I to be, but it don't put your let put you off. It's not unmasculine. It's just honestly you got you got to get your nose on it. I'll show this to young lads. Uh, the car with nice it's nineteenth century I used to work on, and they bought it because they smelled it, they loved it. So I wasn't sure, and they, okay, that's fair enough. They don't want it because it's not, it doesn't fit into their narrative, like you know. But I'll tell you now, guys, it is a cracking fragrance. And it, 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 it's worth the money. And I would say, this is the one I get out of all them. One that puts a big smile on my face every time I wear it. You know, I love it. And, you know, I can't get enough of it. When that runs out, I'm definitely buy me another bottle. Definitely. I can't be without that. That's one fragrance I can't be without in my collection, is that? So, guys, that's the video for today. Thank you for tuning in and sticking with me. I do appreciate it. And I'll rub it on a bit sometime when I'm talking. But I just try to put myself across. So not everybody watches my videos. So I've not got the most uh, numbers for people watching my videos. But I have to be true to myself. I enjoy what I, when I sit back and look at my videos I've done. I must say I'm quite happy with the way they've turned out most of the time. I feel like I'm quite entertaining. It's just you've got to try to play the game on YouTube to get, get your numbers up. And I'm a bit more of a rebel like that. I don't like just being like everybody else. I want to be different. If people check out my Instagram page, you'll see what I'm on about. You know, my Instagram page, what I've got on Instagram, is totally different to everything else. It's all about fragrances. I like to tell stories way about my fragrances. I've got a bit like I'm doing on here. And hopefully people are tuning in because they want to see something different. They don't want to keep seeing the same thing all the while. And that's my, that's, that's my aim. If I could get my numbers up, just be myself doing this, I'd love it. I mean, I've got about 40, 44 subscribers like that, maybe a bit more. I haven't checked for the last couple of days. But it was, it was going up to the, getting up to a 50 mark. And I know it's only a small amount. But my videos are getting quite a lot of views our time. It could be into the hundreds or the it could be 70, you know, for the ungame views, and that's nice. And I say one day, hopefully, people will realise the work I'm putting in and try to put some video out for you guys to, you know, give some good content. I haven't got hundreds of video, uh, fragrances to make videos with, guys. I've got about 80. And you have to use your mind now. You're going to try and put them fragrances for you guys. Every time you put a video out, can I use these fragrances to give the guys out there something different to the last time I did it? 
that try and make them think different about the fragrances that you've got. You know, so he's, make, he's make, making the most of what I've got and putting fragrance out there. I do add to my collection as I'm going through the year. I don't command that much money to keep doing it all the while. I can't keep ordering, you know, thousands of pounds worth of fragrances. I have to act in a budget, and it has to go under that budget. So I won't get into debt for fragrances. It has to go under the, you know, my way of coping to keep putting videos out for you guys. At the same time, you know, give you good quality, but not to tell you to go and get yourself into debt. Because you want to buy something that I'm showing you. I'm going to tell you about these fragrances. Because these are five of my favourites that I do tend to wear a lot. And if you have the money and you want to buy these, fantastic. You will go wrong with them, I promise you. And if, if you want, you like this video and think, well, one day I'd like to save for maybe one or two bottles for that. You've got some choices there. You'll give it to make a decision. And I'm sure it's every one you choose to pick. You know, it, you'll rock them. And you'll be grateful you picked them up because they make you smell great. Okay, guys. Thank you for sticking around again. As I say, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll see you on the next video. Okay? This is about gym fragrances. If you like showing your guns off, you know, see me over there in a few, few minutes. Okay, guys. See you later. Bye now.